wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, I know you don't very much want to be awake right now, but I have a very special gift for you. Well, it's not really a gift. I thought I might as well, um, it being the Christmas season and all, bring you an extra fancy breakfast in bed. Or, um, basement mattress. Not really bed. Well, I know it's not fancy fancy, but it is my best. I tried really hard when making it. The eggs certainly were the hardest part, but I think they turned out great. Anyways, I thought I would make you this special breakfast for the holiday season. I guess you wouldn't know now, would you? Yes, it is the holiday season. To be more exact, it is Christmas Day. Now, don't worry, Santa did bring you presents. They're not under any trees in this house, however. I wouldn't let Santa anywhere near this house. Not that I don't like the man. I just think he might leak your location and ruin my work. Oh, my hard work. And I wouldn't want that. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, sure. Santa isn't real. Yeah, okay. And who else brings presents? Anyways, I just can't have that information get out. So, I'll make a deal with you. It's not really a deal, but let's call it that. You eat and finish your holiday breakfast, and I go get the gifts from Santa, which are at an undisclosed location. As I said, it isn't really much of a deal. I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. Anyways, I love you, dear, and I will be back momentarily. Well, my love, I've returned with the gifts. It was a bit more of a hassle to fetch them than I initially had thought. There were more people around the undisclosed spot than I had anticipated, so I had to wait a little bit longer than usual. Hopefully you're not too bothered by that. <laughs> oh, well, I thought for the gifts I might as well do something special, but I think if I told you where, how, and from whom I got the gifts, it would ruin the fun for you. You wouldn't want your Christmas fun to be ruined. So anyways, that would just have to be my little secret. Not just yet. We will get to the gifts soon, but first, I would like to ask how you enjoyed the food. I mean, it was made for your enjoyment and your fulfillment. So it's important if it failed to achieve those things so I can improve upon it. Thank you. I tried quite hard to make the best breakfast possible. I suppose you already know this, but I am not naturally inclined to cooking and baking. So I've had to learn and hone my skills for your benefit. So, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Anyways, I suppose now it's time for the gifts. Go ahead. You can open it. It's not dangerous, I swear. I wouldn't do that now. Do you like it? Surprised? Well, of course, it is a gift after all. I wouldn't expect you to know what the gift was. That is kind of the point. You don't know. You can only really guess. Oh, that's not why you're surprised. I understand. But it shouldn't really come as a surprise, should it? After all, 
I love you dearly, and I know almost everything about you and what you love. More explanation than that. Why? Whatever could you mean? This gift comes from my love and Santa's magic. And perhaps the morning of your parents. Oh, nothing. I didn't say anything of meaning or value. Well, anyways, it shouldn't matter where or how or from whom these gifts come. I think the only thing that matters at this point is whether or not you like the gifts. So please tell me, instead of speculating wildly on their origin and questioning me on where or how or from whom I got these gifts, this is what Santa did not get you, a uh, wild speculation on gift origins. So please, just accept my answer of where they came from. I swear there is no malice in it. There is no se deception. Th there is nothing more than what you need to know. It's just a gift. So please, tell me if you like it. You do. That's great to hear. I'm glad that I've been able to give you something that you like. Now, time to open your other presents. Let me see. Where did I put it? No, no, I can find it. I absolutely remember where it is. Trust me. All right, where did I put it? I know it has to be somewhere here. It just happened. I just had it. Ah, oh, there it is. I knew it'd be here. Let me just bring it over and here, open it. I think you'll definitely really like this one. Oh, does it look familiar? I would certainly hope so. I mean, it does belong to you. Oh yes, I know that since it's your gift, it therefore belongs to you. But what I mean is that that little stuffed animal has belonged to you since you were a little girl. Come on, I know you remember. It was on your bed right by you almost every night. And I thought it would be only fair to reunite you two. It was awfully mean of me to rip you apart in the first place, wouldn't you say? I'm only joking. I'm I mean about the mean part, and only really a little bit, because it is a little mean of me, but that's besides the point. The rest of my speech was true. That is actually your childhood stuffed toy animal. Well, how did I get it? What did I say about those types of questions? They are not productive to the conversation. Let's just say I have my methods of obtaining things such as this. But I get things in a fashion that... <laughs> well, it doesn't need to be explained. I get things here, and that's all that really needs to be known. I mean, anyways, my methods don't matter to you. It's not like it will affect you. It may only really affect those outside. And they shouldn't matter to you. You know, out of sight, out of mind, and all. I'm only kidding. Just a little. There's not really a good reason to get all too upset. Now come on, it's Christmas. I have a little Christmas spirit. Oh. Alright. I see I have messed up a little bit here. Just calm down a bit. I'm sorry for upsetting you. I was just trying to get you suitable gifts and lighten the mood and spirit for the holidays. So hopefully you can accept my apology. You don't have to, of course. You are well enough allowed not to accept it. In fact, you have every reason to. 
I've ruined your Christmas. I adore you away from your family now. You are separated for the holidays. I'm a terrible person for doing such a thing. I don't know why I try to do this. What did you say? What? You don't think I'm a terrible person. <laughs> well, you honestly should. You, of all people, of every person in the world, should think of me as a monster. So why don't you? It doesn't make sense. Please, explain it to me. In the name of Christmas spirit, can you explain why you don't hate me? You don't think I'm a terrible person? You can tell that I love you? Well, of course I love you. You're amazing and attractive and nice and kind and every single thing that I'm not. So, of course, I would love you. I have every reason to, and I forever shall love you. But that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean you can't hate me. It means you should. If anything, I mean, it really does mean you should. You're right. I don't know why I'm trying to convince you to hate me. I should be giving you every possible reason to love me. Instead of... begging over and over again for you to hate me. But I just can't grasp it in my mind. It isn't right, what I'm doing. It never has been right. I should just turn myself into the police right now. But then, if I do, I'll never be able to see you again. So I persist. Yet my mind still plagues me, and the Christmas season is very much indicative of it. I can't help but feel so wicked and twisted, knowing I ripped you from your family. They think you're dead. I made your family think you're dead. And oh, don't think I don't feel stress about the investigations. Oh, they think they can find me. But I keep track of the news. I know what they are searching for. And, well, let's just say, they won't be able to find you. And they won't be able to catch me. My tracks are safe. I've done my research. So there's no point on continuing on, but... I just feel so bad about all of it, and... Oh, I'm sorry, I started rambling again, didn't I? I guess I should probably just keep my mouth shut. But yes, those things are true. I did fake your death. It was actually quite a genius plan on my part. It involved a house fire and a fake corpse which I burned to a scorch, but I really shouldn't bother you with that. You don't need to think about that. But I think it's just more proof of why you should hate me. So please, just say you hate me. I don't care how much I love you. It just doesn't feel right. It isn't right for you not to hate me. So please, just say you hate me. I won't love you less if you say it. <sighs> what are you doing now? Now you're saying you love me too? I don't understand. I really don't understand. You should hate me. You should want me dead. You should want me to rot and burn. So why, why don't you? Why do you love me too? Tormented? I guess you could say I am. But you've been tormented by me too. It's th that's no excuse on my part. What? What are you doing now? Why are you holding me like that? Comforting me. Why? I don't understand. What have I done to deserve comfort? I still.
still don't understand, but I'll accept that answer. I'll accept it for you, darling. I just wish you wouldn't be so kind. I don't deserve your kindness. I'm sorry, darling. I've rambled too much today, haven't I? I should just quit trying to convince you to hate me. You know, I love you. I love you so much. I can't explain how much I love you. But knowing that you love me too seems to be messing with my head. I, I just... I don't know why I can't accept it, but I should just accept your answer at this point. I should just accept my fate. And I mean that in a positive sense. I, I have one question. Well, um, this may sound a bit silly as of the moment, but can... I give you a kiss on the lips or anywhere and honestly could be the cheek on the hand I don't care I've never done it before with anyone but especially with you and well I mean I love you and you love me apparently so I think it should be fine shouldn't it it's not too much to ask, is it? If it is, I'm perfectly fine with you. Uh, uh, I can. Well, forgive me if this is bad and immature-ish. Uh, it really is my first ever kiss. I love you very, very dearly. I don't know what I would do without you in my life. And I don't know what I would do without you here. I'm so, so sorry for what I've done. And it seems as if you've forgiven me, but if you haven't, if you haven't truly forgiven me in your soul, I pray, I pray that I can make it up to you every single day of every single month of every single year. I'm quite tired now. I must have overstressed myself with all the gifts and panicking and rambling. You wouldn't mind if I just slept here with you, would you? Thank you, darling. I love you so, so much. <laughs>